Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Stephen, again. I like to make a, a educational program. Well, actually, medication anyway. I like to talk about a medication today. Um, high cholesterol, okay? <laughs> this is for people that with high cholesterol, okay? People with high cholesterol usually got to watch your diet. It could be diet, hereditary, it usually can be both, okay? Okay, it's very hard. See, it's an old joke. Like, I'm watching my cholesterol, but I'm watching it rise. Rise up, get it? See, it? Watch. how good are you watching your cholesterol? I'm watching it climb. <laughs> That's me, see? That's hereditary is in the grandfather reason, region. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, they give you, like, statin drugs. I'm going to tell you a little story, though. Okay, listen very carefully. Ladies and gentlemen. The FDA has proved it, okay, people have studied, okay, had studies, regional studies in school, medical schools, not even that, even the scientific schools, forensic, forensics, sorry, okay, that statin drugs do degenerate your muscles. In other words, they make your muscles not work correctly, okay, they damage your muscles, okay. They're good, in a way, they're good for your cholesterol. They're very good for your cholesterol. But at the same time, what are you getting out of the effect? You're getting damaged muscle tissue. Okay. When I say damaged muscle tissue, that means weakness. Okay. When you start a drug, Lipitor, example, 40 milligrams. Let's say you start 40 milligrams. In the first one or two weeks, you start noticing, wow, I feel kind of weak. Your muscles start feeling kind of weak. Okay? You don't tell your doctor about it. Okay? You get a blood test and everything seems like it's perfect. You can still get a blood test. You still look good. Get this. This is what they have even proven, too. Okay? You can still get a blood test. Look clear as bell but you know what the damage from the statin drug is already done here I'm out here I am supposed to promote the drug okay supposed to help you know doctors you know with medications and you know diagnose well no, not diagnosis just uh, getting the drug out there that's what I'm saying but at the same time those are the classical drugs of, uh, you know, or, or um, you know, cholesterol drugs. But the ones that are classical are bad for you. Even Lopad. Lopad is bad for you. 600 milligrams twice a day. And that's for high triglycerides. That's one of, the, one of the best medications there is. Okay? Okay, like one example, one person may not affect, and the other person may, may bleed to death. Okay? There's a lot of problems it can cause. Okay, liver problems. As a matter of fact, it's proven. The statin drugs, here we go back to statins again. They have statin drugs that affect your liver worse than painkillers do. Worse than alcohol does. Now, if you combine it with an alcohol product, you are definitely going to have liver damage. If you think it's bad by itself with statin drugs, imagine if you're going to add something, another cocktail to it. That much worse. Not much faster. Your life right before your eyes. But I'm not telling you, okay, I'm not misleading anybody out there who's taking statin drugs. Because you're supposed to take what your doctor tells you to take. Okay, if you have high cholesterol, I'd rather see you take the high cholesterol drug then you get a heart attack, okay? I don't want you to get a heart attack just because of what I'm saying. Don't stop it. You're taking what you have to take. Like some people take 40 milligrams of uh, Lipitor and they take 10 milligrams of Zetia. Okay? Zetia is a, a supplement that helps bring down other, the other, the other cholesterol parts. Okay? Got your good cholesterol and your bad cholesterol. Sometimes you need a supplement. A supplement. Okay, that's all. It's nothing major, no big thing. 
But just make sure you do get your routine blood test anyway, no matter what. Ask for that blood test. If the doctor's not pre treating you right, ask for a CBC blood test. All panels. Okay? A history. The best best doctor you can be is to have a history on every part of your body. Every part of your body. That makes a better doctor. Because if you have a history on every single part of your body, I, this is my belief, you know what to do and you also know what not to do. There, one of these days, they're going to have a computer brain in a hospital. It's going to be set up in the corner. Okay, I heard this. This is a rumor. I don't know if it's going to be true or false. It's going to tell you beep whenever your medication is ready. It's going to tell you what medications you're allergic to. Let's say you're allergic to meclizine, allergic to penicillin. Okay, it's going to alert the doctor. Make sure the doctor don't make no mistakes. It's going to tell you when your last dose was. That way you can't sneak one. Okay. It's going to tell you what time your next pill is. So nobody can fraud anybody else. And, you know, the nurses go and sneak one on on their break and pop one themselves. And say, I already gave it to you. That's another idea. Okay. See, technology is getting high tech nowadays. That's just an idea. That's one of the ideas I came out with. Okay, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one short. It was good talking to you, everyone out there about cholesterol. And I know I'm watching mine go up. <laughs> it's how I eat pizza because pizza is bad for you. When you eat a lot of fattening food. Just think of all that cheese. I'm just going to make an example for you guys. All that thick cheese in your arteries, guys. That's what it looks like in your arteries when they're trying to clear up your arteries. When they suction all that fat. You go, I'm sorry to do that. But look, that's that's your artery. Pour all that stuff out. Yellow stuff. Okay, listen. The yellow pizza or this cheese on your pizza is, is what is in your arteries. The, you could about miles to say that. That's how thick that stuff is. And when you got no blood flow to your heart, Man, you're done. I'm serious. Then you got no blood flow to your brain. You're really done. You're cooked. Okay. So be careful, guys out there, including myself. Okay, because I I did quit my cholesterol pills for a while, so my doctor does my blood test. Kind of shortly, guys. Supposed to get it done. Okay. God bless everyone, and have a nice day. Another topic just for today. And uh, I do love Cindy. As we go, here we go again. And I uh, hope you drive safe back and doesn't drive like a maniac in a car crash or like that. Pray to God. Um, and gets home safe. Um, you'll know when a dog starts barking like crazy. Uh, uh, God bless America, everyone else out there. I'll see you soon on the flip side. Thank you very much. Late.